Okay. <laughs> I'm back. Let me double check, make sure everything's okay. Everything's okay. Um, quiet full screen. Return. Fuck. Fuck. Um, is it just me or is she closer? It's probably just me. <laughs> um, I don't even have anything to say. Let's just fucking do this. Hi again, Handy. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. What the fuck? Bitch! Bitch! Thanks for keeping your promise, Handy. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Seriously, is it just me or are they closer? No, it's straight up just me. <laughs> Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? <laughs> also, it's fucking- is it sideways? It's like tilted. Oh my god, you guys, I'm- Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take it seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Bitch. <laughs> I can't even read this. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Handy. We'll make sure you sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. She's changed. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have an interest in picking up a book to read? Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now, so it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. She's changed. Y w wait, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. No, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Uh, are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want, to f want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it, if you wanted. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. See? It was fucking tilted. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ugh. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her, in case she needs a hand. <laughs> you looking for something in there? Fucking Monica. Oh my. <laughs> she never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized? Someone else is gonna mess it up. Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. <clears throat> There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one, shel one of the shelves. Curiously, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box she's, a, she's admiring. 
Parfait girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's out of my demographic, or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. <laughs> she points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging or anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Handy. Consider this a... <sighs> Don't do that to me. In fact... Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. I'm scared! What's she gonna do? She serves the book right into my hands. Okay, uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking... In colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly... Moe. <laughs> Don't just stand there! Ugh. Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall, beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Uh, why's that? Uh, I guess it would be easier. I guess it's easier for us to be close together like this. Ugh. D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I've been since How long has it been since I read the beginning? Oh, wow! How long has it been since I read the beginning? Huh? You don't go you don't go back and flip through older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes, after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happening yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's a bunch of, about a bunch of friends in high school. <laughs> Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Aww. <laughs> She's kind of cute. <laughs> are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Huh? Uh, you don't? Uh, it's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. Huh. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up- bring- bring it- <laughs> I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Huh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? It makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kind of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, I guess, so I guess I gravitate toward other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait. Which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. What the fuck? My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found out- found- Oh, wait, what? At least it's safe in here in the club room. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Ugh. I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh. So. <laughs> oh, so? Yeah, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Uh, time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. <laughs> She's asleep. It looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah? Suddenly, what? Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey! <gasps> Don't fucking do that! That's creepy as fuck! Don't fucking do that! Oh my god. Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Oh my god. Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it at Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. 
She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give... She didn't, even... <laughs> she didn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Handy. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Oh my god. Um, let me check something. Ten minutes? Okay. I can go a bit longer. <laughs> oh my god. Um, seriously, man, what the fuck? <laughs> can I save? Or is all my save shit gone again? Okay. See, now... History... What the fuck? <laughs> That's so scary. Um, Natsuki, since she's the one who fucking... Okay. Okay, well let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, uh... <laughs> There's nothing she doesn't like. Natsuki rereads my poems. My poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Uh, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Ugh. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when, reading, when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Uh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha! Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? Ugh. Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Ugh, you're so... You just don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the whole world like you're, like you're all that self-important. Pretty sure... Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Ugh, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Oh, this one. The same one. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make, make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, how do you... I'm just like... I kind of want to just... Glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the young son Because I already went through this. This is like the same. I decided to humor her at the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Uh, hey, Monica. Hi, Handy. Having a good time so far? Yeah! Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new on everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better... Oh my god. Sayori's not there anymore. I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Handy. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I had Monica in my poem. Mm-hmm. I like it, Handy. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no! It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house. 
what? So she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. What? But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know? Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Child abuse! Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. I'm scared. Hole in the wall. Uh, is it the same one? I honestly can't remember if it's the same one. Oh, it's a continuation! Hole in the wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frant frantically glance around my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in the room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic, scrawling, playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears. I brandish my pen. So what do you think? Uh, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, the cat kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. It is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Uh, okay, if you try so hard to make it perfect, you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to write something down on paper and tidy it up later. It's this, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you just get a big dark puddle of ink. So move on, move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. It's the same thing. Um, Let me check. What time am I at? 17 minutes? Okay. I'm gonna finish um, doing Yuri, and then that's it for this part. Yuri, oh, okay. Um, uh, Yuri stares at the poem. <laughs> I mean, it passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Uh, oh, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. okay. This is your first time reading a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading it through- I guess- I guess that it might be after reading through it. Oh, so it's that bad. No! D did I just raise my voice? Um, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable, noticeable thing I re recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. God, this chick is long-winded. Also, if everyone in front of value the feedback, not a little bias, bias how? Uh, well, never mind. I should be, shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry, it's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Okay, so this is the same poem. It was Monica's that was different. <sighs> I'm sorry I have, to, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. 
Uh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts? Oh, are you into ghosts? I did the same mistake last time. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Handy. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did- Oh, shit. Hold up. Hold up. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. I think one of my cats is at the door again. It's probably still Diva. Oh, I know. How many? <laughs> one. Hi, Diva. You whiny little. <sighs> yeah, it was Diva again. Um. Lingering in her past, uh, remaining place of comfort, unable to let go. Lingering in her past, last reigning. Uh, since we left them, it's not more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on those these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting. Oh, I'm counting on you. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. I miss Sayori! Sayori's there! She's here again! What the fuck? This is a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me. There goes the fucking music. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Uh, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can it be that cute? How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? What the fuck? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Uh, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> Natsuki's like, well, you can take those suggestions and shove them up your ass. <laughs> oh my god. Monica liked it, and Andy, what about Sayori? <sighs> Excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time <laughs> a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Ugh. And Handy liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it, and Asuka suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Huh? That's not what I... <sighs> you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Handy appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Uh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as candy started showing up. Natsuki! Uh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Take... <laughs> Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking, you edgy... <laughs> You wanna be edgy, bitch? What the fuck? Edgy! Sorry if my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. What does that mean? See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. 
If you want to prove something, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Wow, be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? <gasps> did, did you just accuse me of cutting myself? Dude, no, it's like... When Yuri came over to my house... What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Handy hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. <laughs> Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as if she just noticed I was standing there. Handy, she's, she's just trying to make me look bad. It's not true. She started it. How did I get dressed? Whoa, 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 whoa. Bitch! I can't- there's not even a save option thing. I can't even- Okay. Um. This might, part might be a little bit longer. Just cause- <laughs> Um. Oh man. This is gonna be so bad. Bitch! BITCH! I can't. I fucking can't. I'm going back and forth. Ah! <laughs> BITCH! Um, hey Handy. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish that I was a little bit I I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. What the fuck? Suddenly Noski runs out of the classroom. Oh, she's crying. She quickly runs away. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. What? Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Andy. Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget about it by tomorrow. Completely. Is that a threat? <laughs> anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You, you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please, let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for some for something, Yuri. Uh, it's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't want to get... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Handy. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. Ah. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm, I'm sorry for causing trouble. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this shit? Okay, can I save? Okay, I can save. Um... Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, actually, I'll just save over this one. Cause this is when everything like started again so <laughs> okay so i guess um we got more backstory with natsuki for one it seems like she isn't being taken care of at home yuri i guess uh cuts herself because she 
has a fetish for knives. <laughs> she has this thing for knives. And it was, um... Like, yeah, that that's what I kind of got the... that. I mean, I didn't mention it at the time, but I kind of got that feeling when, um... The first time, my first... Before everything got fucked up. And... Main, the main character Handy went to go get like some when they were working on the banner and they were gonna paint it and Handy went to go like get like cups of water for the paint and he comes back and then Yuri you know like un unrolls her sleeve to cover her arm I'm just like bitch what's going on there <laughs> so um yeah anyway um I saved it already but I'm I'm on a roll, man. Like, I, I can't stop now. Besides, I'm doing laundry right now, so I'm playing this while I wait <laughs> for that to finish. But, um... <laughs> yeah, man. Holy shit. Holy shit. How long is this? Ten min Oh, right. I had to cut it. So, this, is, this, this part is going to be about, um, half an hour. <laughs> so, thanks for joining me so far. Um... Shit's, shit's wild, man. This shit's wild. I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>